So what is the practical scenario means in incident table? So everyone knows that incident table, right? So in an incident table, the caller field is there, right? Everyone have this caller field. Everyone knows that caller field. So in that caller field is containing the usernames. Is it right or not? For example, so Abil Tutor is there and as well as uh, next one, Fred Dodi, different, different type of caller names we are using. And now we need to count a repeated names. For example, so uh, Fred Rudy is having the five records with the same caller. Okay. So in the caller name is a Fred Rudy. So he has the four records are in their incident table and count how many times repeated that caller names in that table. So we need to find out. So without writing code, I will show where it will be and how we can see that data. So I will show it to you just a minute. Incident incident dot list you can see if i'm going to see that so incident uh, table records everything it will write to display on your screen you can see all the records are showing there is a, how many records are there so 110 records are there in my so incident table so 110 records are present so now i need to find out so how many uh, how times the caller is repeating okay so my question is very simple the my question is for example shiva one two three uh, caller is there so how many times i am just it is showing repeating one two three four five but um, i don't want to count like this so i'm ready to make a group so simply go to this area simply click one and group by caller so now it is showing so all the caller is empty is a seven records are there. So caller able tutor is a 25 records are there. Abraham Lincoln is a five. Everything will be there. You can see that Shiva one, two, three is there. Where is the Shiva one, two, three? So here, yes. So Shiva one, two, three is a five records are there. So like this, it can write to display. Now, my question is same kind of the caller name and as well as beside of the caller name, I need to see the number of times the caller has so repeated the records in the records, right? For example, how many records are there with a caller name is a Shiva 1, 2, 3 means 5 records are there. I need to display. Now, so that is the reason I will go to my so code area. I need to display by using of my scripting, okay? So that's the reason you can see. So this is an example scripting I'm going to show. Okay. So this area I'm going to show. I'm going to write a so scripting for this area. So first of all, what I said just now. So you should use that as a glide record to get the so incident table records. Okay now. So if you use a, all the glide record object and you can use and get the incident table records means simply we can write the bar. So gr is equals to glide record. So I'm going to take as a variable name is a gr. So new. So new I'm going to take and you can take it as a glide record. This is a confirm. So compulsory method we can use glide record in that record. I'm going to use as a incident table. That is a table name. Whatever it may be, you can take another table. You can so take it another name. Okay. So in the table I'm going to use incident. Then I'm going to write a query on it. So gr dot query I'm going to use. Okay. So query. So this is a very important also. I already in a previous classes I already designed. Okay. Explained that why we need to use a query. Okay. So now I'll write a code. Then after that I'll explain to you. So first of all I'm going to use. I'll make it big, somewhat bigger. So var counts is equals to. We are going to counts. So counts is equal to so I'm going to take it as a empty object. Okay. Empty object I'm going to take in this area. So now that is a while I'm going to write. So what is a while means is the number of times we need to looping statement. Now it is. So gr dot next I'm going to take. So gr dot next means every record it can write to find out. So curly braces open and if condition or otherwise I'm going to take it as a bar the caller is equals to what is the caller and this is the variable I'm going to initializing I'm going to get the data from your incident table so where it will be that incident table that is the information we see here so in say in a incident table so where it will the position of the particular caller so I'll show ungroup I'm going to take 
so here i'm going to open any record you can see so where is the name of the caller so caller field is there so in that caller field then uh, caller values will be to present so that's why i need to get the value you can see that caller field now in that caller field the caller values are there that's why i'm going to fetch the data in a which table gr so gr is giving already it's a declared and incident table all values are so into that gr area so gr dot what is the caller field name so i'm going to use it as a caller underscore id this is the name of the caller field okay now so now i'm assigning the gr dot caller and id to the particular caller right now i'm going to use if condition so if the caller and uh, so and next one so caller dot get display value okay so get display value so these are the very very important so we can use if condition okay so in that if condition what we are going to take that var caller name so this is the one more variable i'm going to declare caller name is equals to so what we are going to take caller dot get display value so get display value in this now i'm going to use a caller dot get display value it's a fine okay so now i'm going to use a uh, again i'm going to write the bar caller name is equals to caller dot get display value and then i'm going to use a if condition again so what is the if condition now i'll come to the counting side counting means number of times repeated now so i'm going to count the value already just declared that counts okay variable i declared is an empty object so that's why i'm going to use a counts okay so counts it's a object means that we can take it as a square braces and what we need to take in this area so caller name so i'm going to take it as a caller name in this area if it will write to present then what it will write to just get that so now the counts value so counts of a square braces caller name should be increasing so plus plus means plus one it will write to increase so that's all and if not for example the caller is the caller name is not presenting then what happened so else so we are going to display that so counts of a so caller name it should be equals to one i'm going to this area so then i'm going to so close the parenthesis and as well as so these else values be closed and here there's a if condition value we not it closed so that's why i'm going to close one more okay curly braces and one more is also there while statement we not it closed here so that's why i'm going to close one more so curly braces so now it was completed then i'll go to one more area what does it means we need to display the values right so gs dot info so what kind of the uh, values we need to display means i will show that is a caller counts so the caller is ready to just show that displays how many counts are there so we caller counts will be there and this is a string it is right simply it is right to so display and then now i'll go to that one more condition like a for condition i'm going to use what is a for condition bar name in okay counts you can see so this is a condition we need to use and for condition and curly braces we can open right now gs dot info you can see in that name we need to provide so what does it means we already taken as a variable it's a name i am going to take in accounts so name value i am just taken and plus so we need to take it as a colon also so then plus what we need to get now so that is a so counts of a in an object name i am going to take so that's it the code was completed so i need to display so that information so what is it? again we'll come to that code again so var gr is equals to new glide record incident so incident table record we need to get to the so gr variable now we can start query on this area so gr dot query is there and now variable 
So declaration is the count is the one empty object we declared for the further use. And then next one while gr dot next I'm going to take because so it can write to search each and every record. That's the reason gr dot next will write to just present. And next one the var caller is equals to okay. So gr dot caller underscore id will be there. So now it can write to go to the caller area. Now if condition we need to use that is a caller and so caller dot get display value here that is a if it is a successful then it will enter into the caller name is equals to take it as a caller dot get display value and it will count it will write to find out the name of the particular caller then it will increase so if not then it will take it as a only one one time only it can write to display the value so that's the reason we need to just find out and simply i'm going to run this script i want to show you can see so what does it mean see here so event management person is a five times so alexandra alexandra present is a two times like this see shiva one two three is a see here shiva one two three is a five times it was shown so that's the reason we can provide one of the so easy way to write a scripting to get the data okay so you can display the data this is a one of the interview question also so in a one interview so some people they ask the interviewer asked this question to fetch the details while writing a scripting okay so that's the reason we can use